What's up, everybody? My name is Morten Farishran, and today I'm gonna talk a little bit about this guitar. It's a Yamaha Revstar 502. Um, I've just had this guitar for a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been using it in a couple of videos, so a lot of people have been asking about it. People are curious about it. Uh, so, yeah, just talk a bit about what I think and why I got it. Uh, why I got it first, I actually just saw an ad, I think, and um, I really liked the way it looked um, and decided to check out on YouTube, you know, see reviews of it and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I really liked the way it sounded from the reviews and also people seem to be very positive about the build quality and stuff like that, you know, yeah, it seems to be people who, ha who has this guitar seem to be really happy with it. Uh, also, I've been uh, wanting to get the guitar with P90 pickups in it for a while, so yeah, I, I decided to give this a uh, shot. It, it's really affordable compared to all the other guitars I have. Um, and usually, usually I wouldn't be, I mean, if a guitar is just good for the price, I'm not interested. I'm, uh, it, it has to be good, period. But, uh, you know, uh, since, it, it, since, it's, since it's pretty affordable and people seem to be really happy and I really like the way it sounds, I uh, just took a chance and order it, order it on, um, online. So, um, so that's the story on how I got this guitar. Um, so it's a mahogany body with a maple top, mahogany neck, 24 and 3 quarters scale length, two pickups. Obviously this is similar to a Gibson Les Paul. So uh, I have a Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul, which uh, you know I love. I'm never gonna sell. <laughs> uh, but is this guitar as good as as that one? That guitar is six times more expensive, at least. Um, I think it's it's different. It, it's a different, but it's it's. I mean, if you okay, let's let's see. Okay, the playability. The neck and, and all that is as good, no questions about it. The perceived, uh, you know, build quality, I think, you know, with cheaper guitars, sometimes you can see that, you can sort of see and feel that they are cheap. You can see they're a little bit rough around the edges, maybe, maybe the paint is something, maybe there's something that that tells you this is not like a $3,000 guitar. This With this guitar, I cannot tell at all you know if somebody handed me, me this and said it was two thousand dollars i would have no problem believing that or three thousand whatever you know tuners are really good um this bridge i really like that it's kind of rounded uh, which makes it really smooth to to rest your palm upon um good quality uh, all you know knobs good tone controls Tone control, I should say. Really nice pickups. Uh, instead of uh, these are P90s, you cannot coil tap them. So this this thing here is a bass roll off. It's subtle and and that's really nice. I think with the coil taps, often it's they kind of aren't that usable because the difference between when you have tapped it uh, and when you haven't is so big you know um, 
often the volume is is really a lot louder when when it's a humbucker than when you have it as a single coil and uh, with this thing here, and I think they have this on the, the humbucker guitars as well, instead of a coil tap, it's like a bass roll. And that's, it's, uh, I haven't, you know, this is new to me, but it's really usable. You see, uh, typically when you play with uh, this pickup, if it gets a little bit muddy, just lift this it's more manageable. Sometimes, of course, you want all that bass and... It's, it's subtle, but that makes it more usable. Uh, same with... If you use this pickup... Lift this uh, bass off... When you take away a bass, it, uh, the, uh, the sound seems brighter, even if you haven't uh, added any treble. But, um, so if you want that kind of sparkly uh, single coil bridge pickup thing, uh, it's, it's, pretty much, uh, it's pretty much there. is really smooth. Uh, what I had to do um, after I got it, this nut is always too high on every guitar I get. For some reason, <laughs> you know, it can be really nice setup, but this is always too high. So I, I just immediately took that to, you know, my guy who fixes that for me. It took him, I guess, 10 minutes and that was fixed. Um, and that was pretty much it. Much it. Uh, when I've had it for one day, I had to uh, tighten the truss rod just a little bit probably because of temperature changes or whatever. And uh, also I took the action just a tiny, tiny little bit uh, down. And that's all I've done to guitar. And, and, and it plays as good as anything that I have. So that means it, it plays as good as guitar can play. Uh, one more thing I like when comparing it to a Gibson Les Paul you have a better range on the top here. That hasn't really bothered me uh, when I played Les Paul. Uh, also, my, my Strat and Telly only have 21 frets, and you know, it 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 does change when you when it's a little bit hard to get access to the top fret. It, it changed. You kind of tend to stay a little bit more down here. But uh, I've been um, experiencing that I I like. Like having access to all those high notes, those high notes. Yeah, it's nice to have that. So that's that's a good thing actually. Um, well, it's it's different, um, and the sound uh, sound of one more thing that I noticed. One of the first thing that I noticed is. Um, and let me play it without any volume. I don't know how well you can hear this, but it has a really remarkable sustain. Yeah, I don't know how well you can hear that through uh, the microphone, but it, that's, uh, it really, really rings and I, as far as I understand, that's a quality sign of a guitar, I guess. So, not something that I really have thought too much about, but um, I just noticed with this guitar. The tone is generally very, like, very clear on, on the guitar. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a bunch of stuff that I should mention, but uh, 
just ask me in the comment section if there's anything you're wondering about and uh, I have been playing it on my videos quite a lot I'm sure I'm gonna be playing it a lot more so there's gonna be even more clips where you can hear how this particular guitar sounds but um, yeah I really recommend it it's uh, so far really really great so uh, yeah see you soon bye bye